Hi guys, subscribers, welcome back. First time viewers, I am Jeff from Overland Family Expeditions. It's nice to see everyone again. We would just like to do an update video to let every know, everyone know where we have been and what's been going on. Uh, we have a new addition to Overland Family Expeditions, Georgia Lynn, she is 18 months old currently, hence why we haven't had any content over the last 24 months. You not like the camera? She will be joining us on our future expeditions and we really look forward to that. We had to cancel our summer trip. We were planning on going to Telluride and spending two, three weeks out there doing some of the Alpine trails and bringing new content. But of course with COVID-19, we were unable to do that. Moving forward, we are really looking forward to bringing some new content to the channel. We're really excited about that. Rob and I are hopefully planning on shooting a video uh, series through the Maze or White Rim Trail in Utah. We haven't decided which one or both, whichever one we have time or if we have time for both, we would like to get out there and bring you that content. Some rarely explored areas in Utah, one of our favorite places to go. We are planning on taking the kids to Moab over their spring break and doing some trails with them taking them to some of our favorite campsites and we will bring you that content as well. We'll be traveling more than likely with the two older kids, Jonah and Nola, since they are able to handle the car ride out to Utah without frequent stops. This summer, we are also planning on heading out, probably back to Telluride again and doing some of the Alpine trails and we would like to bring that content to you as well. And the big announcement for the channel is we have sold one of our forerunners. So I have sold my trail premium, my 2015. It was a hard decision. There were a lot of tears shed with the girls because we've had a lot of great memories with that car. However, moving forward, we have decided that we needed a slightly bigger car with Georgia, our new addition. And we are also planning in the future on actually purchasing a trailer. We're thinking a teardrop trailer with a rooftop tent, a place for mom and dad, and a place for the two kids. So we're really looking forward to that. However, with that new addition to our setup, we were looking for something that would tow through the mountains a little bit better. And we were looking for something V8 powered. We went through quite a few options. We looked at the Sequoia. We looked at the Tundra. I actually looked at some diesel pickup trucks of the American variety. And I've always wanted this car, and I just couldn't justify purchasing it. But I got lucky and came across a good deal. Uh, I got a really good offer on my Forerunner, and we decided to purchase a Land Cruiser. So our new vehicle for Overland Family Expeditions is a 2019 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a white one. We'll show you some shots. Um, I bought the car as a demo with 4,000 miles and it did not take long before I could not take the stock form any longer, but we wanted to be very practical with our build and we put a lift on it. We put an Old Man Emu BP51. The tire and rim selection was tough. We did not want to re-gear uh, and, and we'll talk about that in other videos about extra things that I put on my other Forerunner build that we really didn't need and things that were just kind of, I don't want to say frivolous expenditures, but stuff that we really did not need. So we went with a uh, 33 inch tire essentially, uh, 285, 70, 17. We are sticking with the BF Goodrich KO2s. Rob and I both have those tires on our cars and I have to tell you, 60,000 miles and they're about half worn, they're still doing wonderful. So we went ahead and put those BFGs back on the Land Cruiser this time around. I decided to go with Icon Vector 5 rims uh, after speaking with the folks at Icon and finding out how much uh, development and research they put into those and having them work with the Toyota Land Cruiser, that was our choice. So in the future, um, we're planning on putting a roof rack, some other miscellaneous stuff some cabinet work in the back for the fridge, etc. So we would like to hear from you guys and know what other content you would like to hear. If you like our trip videos, 
Uh, I have some other videos in mind. If you're interested in seeing a walk around of the 200 series Land Cruiser with the current build status, uh, we would definitely like to bring that to you. Um, in addition to that, we would also like to bring some other video content on products, any products that you might think uh, are useful in the overland industry or useful with family travel. The other video that I would really like to shoot if there is enough interest is choosing the right suspension for overland family travel. And I think we could really bring some, some good insight to this to you guys because we have Rob's Limited 4Runner, his 2016, which has essentially a stock suspension with some spacers and an upgraded tire and rim package. We still have contact with uh, my Toyota 4Runner, which had an Icon Stage 2 with uh, 285 7017 tires on it. And now with the Land Cruiser, we've stepped up our game ever so slightly to bypass shocks and a similar lift and similar tire and rim setup. So I think maybe comparing those three would be kind of nice for our viewers and everyone else out there to determine if that's the right suspension for them. Otherwise, we will see you guys soon. We look forward to bringing some new content here in the future. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And see you soon.